hi all in this in this uh, video we'll be able uh, to analyze the thread dumps which we have uh, collected and we will see how we can analyze this thread dumps what are the different tools uh, which we will make use to analyze the thread dumps so in this section we'll be talking about three tools and we'll make use of these three tools to analyze our thread dumps so as already discussed thread dumps are uh, the the dump of the threads what they are doing at a given point of time so when you collect the thread dumps it will give us the uh, internals of the your application server what they are going what are they doing at that given to point of time when the thread dump was was uh, was took over so now we will see uh, how to analyze these thread dumps so I have collected uh, two thread dumps from uh, visual VM which is available for me so if you want it a fun way of analyzing thread dump is going through this uh, thread dump notepad file and seeing if there is anything which is stuck or if there is anything which is uh, uh, in blocked state so 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 that way you will be able to understand so that will be a really cumbersome task to go through these thread dumps each of these thread dumps one by one and uh, going through it in notepad plus plus so there are uh, tools available right now uh, in market which we can uh, make use of them and uh, analyze the thread dump the first tool which is available is samurai the jar file is a very small jar file which you can make use of it to analyze the thread dump so i have downloaded this samurai the jar file from the, uh, the website and uh, I will make use of this so so you can just use the java hyphen jar and samurai.jar go to the location where the samurai uh, the jar file is and then you run this command so the it, <laughs> so this samurai tool just now got open so you just need to drag the thread dump which you have collected so once you have dragged it it will do the analysis of this thread dump and show us the information so this is the information which it is showing so right now there is only one thread dump uh, which has been collected so in real time uh, whenever there is an issue so we will be asking to uh, collect the thread dump multiple thread dump so if you have uh, you have collected 10 multiple thread dumps so it will show us 10 thread dumps in the same uh, uh, same place here and it will it will represent the threads uh, status with different colors so the first one is running so if the thread is running it means the thread is uh, is uh, taking or processing something or it's doing some work in that case the will be the in running state you can see if it is in running state it means the there is no issues uh, on my thread so if there is anything which is blocked so one thread is waiting for another thread or uh, in that case the thread will be blocked so blocking and then if it is idle so if it is idle it means it is waiting for uh, uh, it is waiting for some request to come in and uh, then it will show up say show, show out so all these threads are in idle state they are not doing anything they are not consuming any cpu and they are not uh, uh, consuming any and they are just sitting idle and waiting for the uh, any request to come in so that it can come out from waiting to the runnable state and uh, if you see anything which is in red or this deadlock uh, state this last one uh, with red with an uh, skull state so it means that the threads there is a problem in the thread dump and then in then which threads are showing that uh, red color then you can go and click on those uh, thread uh, thread status and then it will show what the thread is doing at that given point of time you can just click on it it will show you that uh, right now this thread is waiting in the if it is in red color it means it is blocked so you can see why it is blocked the the status will be here and uh, what is the uh, java uh, command which it is executing in the back end so it will show you the information here so this is a very uh, good tool to use and very easy tool to use uh, to analyze your thread dumps it will show you the detailed uh, information the status uh, if there is something red which you find it in your thread dump it means there is a problem if they are in the green and uh, uh, 
gray color and then that means uh, the thread dump is uh, clean for us there is no problem for us the another tool which we are going to talk about is uh, is an online tool so for that you need to go to the fastthread.io so this is a website which has been uh, provided it, uh, which is free for uh, free to analyze your thread dumps but uh, they also have their uh, paid version of uh, this uh, website they also provide the services as paid version in which uh, they, they will provide you an api where you can send your uh, thread dumps on regular basis and they will be doing the uh, thread dump analysis and uh, they will be sharing the report with you so uh, here you can right now we are using a freeware fastthread.io is the one which you have to use so go choose the file and uh, open the thread dump file which uh, you want to analyze so you can have multiple files as well so let me add one more file uh, so these two files i have added and then you can click on analyze and then it will start analyzing your thread dumps so thread dump one and thread dump two because uh, two thread dumps uh, i have uploaded so you can see congratulations no problem detected in the thread dump so this thread dump was uh, collected on a server which was not doing any work so that is why we don't see any issues and if you do it on a live system and if there is any issues in your thread dump then it will show up here that uh, there is some issues in your thread dump and then it will point out the issue as well so you can see there are 27 runnable thread 19 threads which are waiting and uh, 9 threads which are timed waiting so so let us understand what is a runnable thread and waiting thread and and timed waiting so there, there can be different states of a threads the first state which is the new state when a thread is created so then at that point of time the thread is the state is new and uh, then in that new state it is not doing any work so the next state will be runnable so if a thread is in runnable state it means the thread is doing some work and it is occupying the cpu and memory and it is taking some resources from the operating system or the jvm to perform the work then the third uh, uh, third state of a thread can be blocked so if it is in the blocked state it means the thread is waiting for for a, another thread to release so there can be some shared resources like uh, the thread one is writing a a, a log in log in log information into a file so whenever it's shared in share the resources is being used in that case the first thread will take a log and then it will write into the file and then it will release the log so that the other threads can make use of it so if there is a blocked state it means the fun one of the thread has uh, took over that uh, shared resource and then it is doing it work so once the once that particular uh, thread releases it then it will again go to the runnable state uh, so blocked state for a longer period of time is a problem for us so we should be looking into those uh, threads and uh, those we should also look into the what is that shared resource which they are making use of it and why they are not able to uh, release that uh, thread what, what resource is being used and why the threads are not uh, unblocking or again uh, releasing that uh, resource then the, the fourth state of a thread can be waiting the thread is waiting uh, uh, for uh, some of the resources to come in like uh, you will find your uh, uh, your socket threads to be in uh, waiting state so they uh, are your uh, your http listen threads to be in uh, waiting state so they wait for their request to come in so they will be waiting and once the request comes in they accept the request and then they put it into the to the runnable threads to take care of that particular uh, uh, whatever action has to be performed then the last uh, state of the threads can be timed waiting so so the, the time waiting means the thread is sleeping so you have used uh, sleep uh, or wait in your uh, program uh, or your application and you have asked the thread to sleep for that particular point of time so these are the different uh, states in which the threads can be there so it is just showing us the how many threads are in which state 27 are runnable they are performing some work 19 threads were waiting for some request to come in and time waiting so we have uh, implicitly asked them to uh, sleep so total number of threads are is 55 
so all these so there are four gc thread timer threads history threads r2 all these information you can see here and uh, threads with identical stacks so there are 10 threads which which have the identical stack so they are doing some work similar works uh, and then it will show stack trace 2 stack trace 3 so all these informations are available here most most used methods for all those things so this is the method which is being used most uh, java lang object weight so this is uh, used by 22 threads 11 thread in the same way you can see gc threads there are four gc garbage collection threads which are making use and then this uh, complete information is available in this particular uh, uh, page so this uh, in the same way you can also analyze thread dump 2 which you have already uh, uploaded it will again show you the detailed uh, information about the thread dump so this is again a very good tool to make use of it uh, and uh, get the information about your thread dumps so that you should remember the uh, website name fastthread.io so where you can go and analyze your thread dumps uh, for free they also have a paid version it depends upon you uh, if you want and your organization want that uh, uh, the thread dumps analysis should be automated then in that case you can make use of their api send the thread dumps on regular basis to these uh, this website they will do the thread dump analysis and in case there is any issues uh, it will uh, it will be sending you a mail as well as uh, they will be sending you a detailed information which you can view and uh, find out why the problem has occurred and uh, rectify that particular problem so the third tool which we are going to talk about today is the thread logic so that is also a tool which is provided to us by oracle and uh, this tool we can make use uh, the same command you can use the same command the command will be java hyphen jar thread logic and the file name so you can just click on this and the thread logic will open up you just have to again open the file and go to the location where the thread dump is and so let me go to desktop and this is the thread dump so it will uh, you can just open this thread dump so you can see it's 55 threads are there so all this what the threads are doing at that given point of time thread id what is the state of the thread all these informations will be listed down here threads which are sleeping thread which are including blocks 38 are doing monitor all the information about the thread will be here and their stack trace will also be there available so this is uh, this is uh, non web logic threads these are web logic threads so this um, this uh, this thread logic is mainly used for web logic so or oracle products to analyze these uh, products so they have their own advisory as well thread. Uh, so uh, what are the states so this is just an advisory where uh, if the threads uh, is in this state it will uh, be it will be in a watch or warning or uh, fatal errors will be shown here right now my thread does not have these informations the, this is a clean thread uh, dump which does not have any problem so you should uh, get your uh, threads uh, dump analyzed using any of these tools and uh, using any of these tools and then you will find out uh, uh, what your application is doing is there any issues with your application and all those information can be found out by the by by you by if you are making use of this uh, thread dump so now let me just have a so i will show you that this is uh, i've just opened one of the thread dump files so you here also it is standby the thread name this is the execute thread for this is the thread name of uh, uh, this thread so each thread have their you know, own name so execute thread 3 4 5 and then this is the priority priority of the, this thread and this is the thread id so this is a unique id which is uh, which we will make use of this uh, whenever we are analyzing the thread dump so this thread id is in hexadecimal so in real time uh, in this you have seen that they have converted this thread id you can see this is the thread id here as well so it is in a decimal form so they have converted this did into a and TID into a hexadecimal 
uh, into decimal uh, digits and this is the native id uh, and id so these two ids are a unique identification for your thread threads so we will be making use of so you will have an id and uh, all those things will be available and then this is your uh, thread call stack stack trace of the thread what they are doing so execute thread 4 is the name of the thread uh, which is getting executed priority is the one here priority 6 is the more by by default most of the threads are in priority 6 and then you have the t id that is the thread id and n id is also the uh, unique identification for your threads and this is the stack trace of your threads so hope you will uh, make use of these uh, tools to analyze your thread dump and see if there is any issues in your application so i will be sharing these uh, tools uh, with uh, you on uh, uh, google drive so you can get them downloaded uh, from the google drive or you can also download them from uh, the online websites which are available so it's up to you uh, to download and make use of these tools hope uh, you have understood uh, how and uh, how you can analyze the thread dumps and what to see in a thread dumps by making use of samurai thread logic or fast uh, fast thread dot io website so these three tools uh, right now i have made use of it and uh, you can also make use of in your real time environment and see how what details you are able to get from your thread dumps okay we will meet in the next section thank you